Wednesday, January 19th, I'm Mark Kelly with your news to go. School board members in Palm Beach County meeting today discussing repealing their current COVID protocols for students and adopting a new policy. Now, the new policy would include other illnesses in addition to COVID. The superintendent would also have the authority to issue mitigation strategies as long as the board is notified within 24 hours. So today's meeting starts at 5. The governor also submitted a proposal to reshape our state's congressional map, which the full Senate is expected to discuss today. Now, the current bill would go and create a new 28th district in Central Florida. Now, governors typically don't submit a map proposal, but they do veto district plans once they pass the state house. Also in Tallahassee today, the Senate will be taking up legislation that would essentially create an emergency fund that the governor could tap into during a declared state of emergency. A proposed amendment to it would reduce the amount, though, from a billion dollars down to $500 million. And closer to home, the chief of the West Palm Beach Police Department meeting with the public tonight. He and some other officers will be there. The goal of this meeting is to address the safety concerns in the neighborhoods and the businesses just south of Okeechobee Boulevard. So this is going to be at the South Florida Science Center STEM building starts tonight at six. If you can't make it tonight, they're going to do five more meetings after this one, and they're going to be the third Wednesday of every month. Sandra. All righty, and here's a look at your first warning day plan. Oh, we're going to see nice daytime highs today in the mid 70s. Partly cloudy skies throughout the course of today with dry conditions and light winds. That's your news to go.